Hello and thank you for joining my channel. Today we have something special. We are watching a game that was played really recently at the last Title Tuesday on chess.com and it was played between two famous rivals, Magnus Carlsen playing as white and his opponent Hans Niemann. Now what is funny about this game of course is that this is their first game after the famous accusations by Magnus Carlsen and then a lawsuit by Hans Niemann. So this game is truly spectacular for both players and I'm sure you will love it and you shouldn't miss it. So without further ado, we will go straight into the game. Magnus Carlsen opened the game with e4, we have e5 for Hans Niemann, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5. So we are in Rui Lopez opening. Black continues with knight f6. The idea is to attack this pawn and this is called Berlin's defense of the Rui Lopez opening. We have a castle for Magnus. Knight takes on e4 and after rook e1, knight d6 is what black plays. So these were all book moves. Right now this bishop is attacked and one of the main lines to continue this opening is to pick up this pawn on e5 which happened in the game. Black now continued with bishop e7 which is really a common move and a book move. So after knight takes on e5, if you're wondering what would happen if you pick up this bishop then of course knight picks up on c6 with a check a discover check and your queen will fall you cannot do that uh, after knight takes on e5 another way to continue this is to actually pick up this knight and after rook takes on e5 and bishop e7 usually in these sort of positions uh, white continues by retreating his bishop on f1 or knight c3 is another option to play but in our game um, Hans Niemann played bishop e7 uh, Magnus continues with bishop f1 and now we have knight picking up on e5. We have rook picking up on e5 and black decided to castle which is a smart idea of course. We have d4 for Magnus Carlsen and we have bishop f6. So or, all were these book moves by the way. Nothing strange about this opening for now. We, we have rook to e1 right now. A rook to e8 played for Hans Niemann. Magnus for now refuses and he decided to play c3 to strengthen this pawn on d4. We have rook picks up on e1, queen picks up on e1 and knight to e8 played for black. Black's idea later in the opening is to push g6 then push this knight to g7. So uh, this knight e8 move is also a book move with a common idea in this uh, Berlin defense. Uh, bishop to f4 is played for Magnus. We have d5 on the board played by black. We have bishop to d3 developing move and right now we have g6 played for Hans Niemann with the idea I just mentioned before. We have knight to d2 another developing move for Magnus Carlsen. We have knight to g7, knight to f3 and now bishop f5 played for Hans Niemann offering the trade. Magnus accept and after knight takes on f5 as you can see a very similar position. Magnus decided to continue with queen to e2. By the way, the position is completely balanced. We have c6 on the board played for Hans. We have rook to e1 doubling up queen and rook on this e file. We have knight to g7 now played for Hans Niemann. We have bishop to e5 played for white offering the trade of the bishops. And right now Hans refuses and he plays knight to e6 to block this e file of course we have bishop takes on f6 queen takes on f6 and right now we have knight to e5 magnus uh, of course takes the advantage of this really nice knight here but unfortunately for him there is nothing else you can do the position is pretty much barricaded and this is all known positions in theory that is why hans Niemann now plays uh, plays rook to e8 we have knight to g4 attacking this queen. The best move is to retreat your queen to protect this rook. And right now we have queen to e5 played by Magnus Carlsen. In order to avoid this, now Hans Niemann finds a great move and that move is knight to g7. As you can see, attacking this queen with this rook. Of course, this rook is also weak on e1. A black is threatening to checkmate white if he is careless. And right now we have incredible and of course brilliant move. This is not strange of course. We have uh, queen picking up on e8 with a check. And now it seems like this is free. But after knight takes on e8. Rook picks up on e8. Another brilliant move. Queen takes on e8. And right now knight to, pardon me, knight to f6 check. King f8. And of course after this trade this is how our, our game continued. Uh, by the way I wanted to share with you that after knight to g7. 
maybe you saw that this knight had a really nice entry squares here and here so let's see what would happen if magnus decided to play that so for example knight takes on h6 of course stockfish marks this as a plunder because after uh, king to f8 your queen is simply hanging you cannot move it because you will have a checkmate here so the best continuation for white is to actually pick up this pawn and after rook takes on e5 we have knight picking up on e5 as the best possible solution for white if magnus carlsen of course made this blunder blunder which he didn't after knight to g7 we said that there is another square here and that square is knight to f6 again looks really really pretty here this forks look juicy but actually it's not a good move because now uh, Hans Niemann has a tactical attack with queen picks up on f6 sacrificing your queen and you will have to forfeit your queen unfortunately because if you decide to pick up this queen then rook picks up on e1 is checkmate but once again we had a brilliant sacrifice firstly of queen picking up on e8 with a check then knight picks up on e8 after that rook picks up on e8 and after queen picks up on e8 knight f6 a beautiful fork king f8 and after this, we are in the end game. Uh, game actually continued for a very long time. I will now show you the moves. I will show you until basically the final position. I will not bother you too much. We have f4, f5 blocking the position. King f2, king f7. We have b4 advancing these pawns. King e6, king e3 for white. We have b5, king f3 for Magnus. King f6 for Hans. King g3, h6, h4 and h5. Again blocking the space here. King f3, king e6, king e3 again, king d6, so Magnus of course doesn't want to repeat the moves, but after this there was a lot of moves actually played on the board, and after this position where everything is blocked, a player's actually played for 40 more moves i will not bother you with all of that moves because basically all of these were just king shuffling around the board because you cannot uh, advance neither black or white can advance anywhere i mean they can try some pawn break but this is not good of course and after this uh, after this game ended this is the final position so if you as you can see uh hans or magnus only pushed this pawn and that's basically it there is no entering square nowhere on the board and uh, black and white decided to uh, of course draw this game and what is funny about uh, this game another fun fact is that actually both of players had a uh, insane accuracy magnus had 99.6 and hans had 99.8 so uh, hans was a bit more accurate than magnus carlsen of course this is not a surprise there is no there is not a word about cheating or anything else because this is simply a a purely theoretical line so most players know how to play this line it's very oftenly played especially for black if you want to draw a game you should play berlin defense there are some other variations where you can go into the end game but basically black's idea is to enter this in into an end game and uh, draw fast and that is one of the uh, one of the variations of the berlin defense just like this game actually uh, ended and we have a draw all completely legit of course this is how this game ended and this is all i have prepared for you today guys if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video with other people who enjoy chess because it really helps with youtube algorithm also uh, feel free to let me know your uh, questions or about this position or about any players feel free to share your thoughts about if hans niemann cheated do you think he still uses some sort of help or not or did he stop completely his his chest is really looking great right now he's improving at a massive rate and this draw just shows that he knows how, he knows his openings are really good and he had some amazing games and hopefully he has a actually a new series watching right now on his youtube channel where he's ready to become a world chess champion and um, i would really i would really love to see that and see his pet on on that journey and yeah guys that would be all thank you so much for watching and we will see each other in the next video thank you so much and have a nice day bye bye